Hey guys, so this is gonna be the last part of um, just the mini grass series that I made. Um, what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm just gonna show you a little trick that I like to use uh, when I'm kind of just making things that are like, I don't know, like pads or something like that. Uh, I do just, basically the trick is that I just take uh, one of the single grass models. Uh, if you go to nature and then you look in the, um, or sorry, in the grass section, I was in it. And then the uh, you go to wild grass single, um, then you can just kind of, uh, distribute almost like these longer um, variations of grass uh, that can stand out from your wild grass uh, or just your 3d grass in general but I find that that um, just kind of gives it the effect of almost like an overgrown look and it's just a really uh, simple trick so we'll hop right into it um, what I am gonna be using uh, for this video um, is I made a uh, just a quick grass path in blender um, it is pretty similar the tricks that I used to the last tutorial but basically all I did is I sculpted a, uh, a dirt plane in here so as you can see um, put some subdivision on it um, and then what I did is I, uh, I I just like brought like duplicated brought it down made a grass layer but then I actually went and sculpted more lines into the grass so that it's even further down uh, and then I'll show you why because um, it just gave the effect of like um, two kind of like dirt tire tracks going through um, the landscape and then all the, the 3d grass will still kind of be pushing up on the other side but um, I think I might actually increase the subdivision on this a little bit um, hopefully yeah just because uh, just see if I can come in a little more clear and loomy on um, but yeah okay so I'll save that and uh, there will be a link below the video where you can download this uh, file. So I'll save that and then I will go to import uh, grass path and then bring it in. So yeah, what we have is basically this. I'm gonna scale it down. Um, I'll just make sure it's on single placement. I'm gonna scale it down a bit because I think I made it uh, way too big in my other file. Uh, so I'll just bring that down a bit and I'll drag it back here and drag this up a little bit just so that there's no uh, landscape or the default grass sticking through so if we look back ah, there's still a little bit even though we're not gonna see that much or that too much we might as well just kind of get it right um, okay so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the uh, dirt material on uh, for this one I am gonna just use like the soil one with the footprints so if we kind of zoom in a little bit um, what is this this sorry this is the one I need the one with the footprints here um, and that's just so that we have kind of like these foot uh, footprints on our path uh, maybe scale this up a tiny bit and some more actually you know what? I'm gonna bring this down and I'm gonna keep scaling this whole thing down because I think that that's uh, just a little too big so if you do uh, download my model just keep that in mind uh, I probably should have just resized it in uh, blender but no big deal um, now we'll throw some uh, we'll throw some 3D grass on here, All right? So we can see that it kind of comes through, and it sort of gives the effect we want. But I'm just going to come in here, and I'm going to kind of play around with it a bit, just so that um, we don't see like these little dirt patches here. So I think if I increase the length, then that should be good. Maybe even size a little bit more. Yeah, I think that that should be pretty much what we want. Uh, so. Let's just kind of set up uh, where we're going to put our camera. So I think if I go kind of like here. Yeah, something like that. So that should be good. Then I'll just put a, I guess, a custom style on. Um, I do need to play around with that map scale a bit because I, I changed it, but I think I should have just left it there because I want it to be like uh, something like that. Yeah, um, just you want to make sure that the footprints look like they're actually human sized, obviously. Um, yeah, so then that's that's looking pretty good. We'll just throw a couple of effects in here. Uh, I will put fog, just because I don't want to <laughs> I don't want to uh, model the stuff over there, and I just kind of want to give it to look like it's uh, going to be raining. Uh, precipitation, and maybe something like that. And I think that should be good. Uh, now I'm just going to throw a few more things in uh, before I put in that the grass I was talking about. Uh, I'm going to go to nature. 
uh, leafless trees. I'm just going to throw maybe something like this just across like over here. Get rid of this one. I'm going to scale this down a little bit and then I do want it overhanging on the path a bit. And something like that. And then maybe I'm going to put like a stump. Is that in this one? Um, I might be outdoor. Let me just look that up quickly. Oh, no, maybe it is in nature then. Just a moment. Okay, yeah, so just something like this. Um, any of these work. So we'll just take drop that there. I'm going to make this a bit bigger. And then uh, we're going to make sure that it's kind of dropped down into the terrain. Uh, I don't know if a lot of people know this, but I do think that the, like, um, the reason why there's kind of such a big cap like that is um, just so you can actually kind of put it in the ground. So obviously it will disappears a bit more. If you wanted to have all that stuff, you could, but I do think that the purpose of it is to kind of sink it into the ground um, to whatever height you want. Uh, so then we'll scale this up a little bit more. Maybe drag this over here. And I'll put in a fine nature and then we'll kind of hop uh, right to the little trick. Um, and I think something like this. Yeah, that's perfect. So if we just go to our camera, that's you know that's more or less what I wanted to do. Um, I think that's pretty good. Now I will uh, do the trick. So um, we're gonna go in and we're gonna get the grass single, uh, and then we're gonna put it on mass placement. So we're gonna click here, and you're gonna drag it to like here, and you're gonna hold Control, uh, and then click again, and that way you can kind of like zigzag the shape. Um, and I think if we do offset from line, so we want to make it so that they're like not on the path, but just something like that. I think, yeah, we'll just randomize it. Uh, we are going to be like scaling these up, so maybe I'll just, I will drag these in a bit more. Um, but yeah, for now, um, just basically place everything. Uh, and then we'll go back and we'll kind of mass change things by uh, using the select all identical. Uh, so like that. And then we're gonna do it one more time over here. And you can, you could really fill this whole plane if you wanted to with them. Um, this is just kind of what I'm doing for the purpose of this. Like maybe I will just put some over here, just kind of for effect. Uh, and then I'm gonna spread that out more. Oh, no, I hit the button. Okay, well, that's fine, whatever. We'll just leave those in then. <laughs> the uh, next thing I'm gonna do is when I'm uh, kind of doing this trick, I like to put it around like the base of trees because uh, I, I find that, um, especially if you're doing like a front lawn or something, it, you know, most people are kind of just gonna leave the long grass around their trees. So you can kind of get a bit more of this like effect of, um, I guess like overgrowth in this area. Um, I think that that's the easiest way of doing it. I think that if you kind of like just brought in a separate plane only to do that, it's kind of overkill. Um, so what we just do is you basically just come in here and you just throw a bunch down. Um, they can be like inside the tree. You won't be able to know. Um, but yeah, I like to just kind of, oops, too far there. Um, yeah, just do this. Like I said, these are all going to get scaled up in a second. So it will be good then. Um, go to select mode. Um, select all identical objects. So then we, we're going to scale it up here. So it's at one right now. We're just going to grab it. So it starts to come up a little bit. Then we'll kind of look at it. If that's sort of where we want it to be, that should be good. Um, as I said, this isn't like a an insane kind of like crazy trick, but I do think it adds a little bit sort of to the render. Um, probably render it like right here. It's also something I noticed is that um, obviously when you subdivide something in Blender, um, you can do something called shade smooth, but you can't really do that in Lumion. So sometimes you get these lines um, and you can kind of hide them. I'm not going to go through the, the kind of the trouble of uh, doing that right now, just because it's, you know, I don't think it's too, uh, too important, but uh, let's kind of render out the final image and just sort of see where it's at. And then, yeah, so um, uh, for this one, I added the fog just because I didn't want to have the horizon line there. Uh, and I also just uh, put some precipitation in just to kind of 
I guess, make the fog not look like it's uh, as out of place. Uh, but if we look at this final image, we can kind of see that these those uh, long strands of grass are kind of sticking out. Like all the ones that are a bit yellowish um, are the uh, the single grass. Uh, normally, you, could, you might be able to blend those in a little bit better, but I think that just for the purpose of actually being able to see what we did, um, it's pretty good. If you actually look around the base of the tree as well, you can see that uh, it does kind of look like it has like a bit of like growth leading up to the trunk. Um, so yeah, uh, I am going to leave it there. Thank you very much uh, for checking out the channel. Um, I will be hopefully posting videos in the next couple of days. Uh, we're in the eye of a hurricane right now, so uh, I just wanted to film this video uh, before the power goes out, which it most likely will. But anyways, uh, thanks a lot, guys. Have a great night and stay safe.